hello hello guys how are you doing happy new month happy pear season and i hope you are doing well and the month has started off amazingly so for the first recipe for this amazing month we're going to incorporate the fruit season that we currently have here in kenya and that is pears i did salad with early february and you guys really really enjoyed everything we did and today i'm going to throw in another one for today's salad we're going to incorporate the amazing flavors of pear tree tomato bacon and all things delicious without doubt you're still going to like this one just as much as you liked the previous three if you're new to this channel carry with sana i hope you are subscribed if you have been part of k nation glad to have you here so let's get started and let's make something super delicious so i have all my ingredients already laid out and now i'm going to do a very quick 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 run through of everything so that you see how they all come together and why i chose what i chose number one the star of the salad my pears the pear that we have here in kenya is the asian pear they are called asian pears because they originate from asia they're very common in japan and china but they also grow here but yes they originated in asia compared to the other pears especially those in america or in britain these ones are very gritty and even when they are ripe they remain green and even when they are ripe they remain really really firm compared to the pears in the um north american countries these ones are a lot less juicier and they have the same texture as that of an apple when you bite through it it's very <laughs> but it's still very sweet and a lot grittier compared to the other pears because of that particular characteristic asian pears i eat the pears we have here in kenya are perfect for salads because of texture and because of how they hold the other ingredients I chose for my salad are my French beans. Together with the pears, when you use French beans and pears together in a salad, you have really, really full texture. And I really, really like when something has a lot of character in your mouth. And those together, not only do they have a lot of nutrients, they provide a bounty of flavor. I have to emphasize, for the French beans, just give them a nice, light, quick saute so that they retain their green color and they retain their texture. I know Kenyans are a bit guilty of overcooking their French beans, like, I don't know why, but please, please, a nice, quick saute, just about five minutes on high heat is enough to retain the texture, flavor, and color. Next, I also used my hub of choice, that is my dania. Mine is a little bit wilted, but it's okay. It will still do the work and we don't waste. So we are still going to use it for this salad. I used dania as my hub of choice because it's easy for you to get as well. And it adds a lot of freshness and complexity to my salad. Dania is cilantro. So if you're in any other country apart from Kenya, make sure you use your cilantro. You can use any other hub though. I wanted to go with rosemary but i chose to go with dania because i felt like the flavor of that particular herb will go with the overall flavor i want to achieve for this salad next my tree tomato not only does it add a lot of color it has a lot of vitamins vitamin a vitamin d vitamin c which i thought would which i thought is an excellent plus to incorporate in this salad it's also quite quite delicious and very very soft and that softness will contrast with the crispiness of the pear and the crispiness of the french beans same rule applies to the grapes the grapes are very very dark meaning they're very very sweet that means they will introduce some sweetness to my salad and also some soft texture now for complexity and additional flavor i went with bacon I love my salads with bacon. Bacon, besides adding a lot more flavor, it will also provide you with the essential oils and protein you need for your body. A good salad, in my opinion, is just not eating vegetables, but providing your body with all nutrients. And that means also some proteins and some essential oils your body needs. And bacon is really packed with all those qualities so having bacon with our pear salad is absolutely perfect now that we've gone through all the ingredients we can start composing our salad 
amazing i like how the colors are contrasting you can see the orange you can see the green you can see the purple of the grape eye and i like when you eat with your eyes fast because it just makes everything extra extra adventurous remember you're always always free to personalize these salads according to your personal taste if you want more bacon feel free to add more if you want less grapes or no grapes at all feel free to remove some if you want more tree tomato feel free to add some it's all up to you to make this perfect according to what your palate demands but according to me i like having roughly um a cup of everything especially when it comes to the pear and the bacon when i slice my pear i like having one cup of sliced pear equal to one cup of cooked and roughly chopped bacon however you can change the ratios according to what you prefer the tree tomato also really bleeds into every other ingredient so if your pear gets some streaks of pink color it's still okay that color comes from the tree tomato and it's still fine but it's like it's a mix than your tumbo so if the color leaks onto the pear it's still totally okay so my final readers tree tomato is also known as tamarillo and if you're still in kenya and you still have no idea what tree tomato is the street lingo for tree tomato is matunda damu you can very readily and very easily get some now that this is perfectly mixed in and i feel the ratio of everything is nice and balanced i'm just going to grab my salad dressing that i had earlier on made and it's very very easy to make as well it's a pear and ginger vinaigrette and as i mentioned in the salad videos i did earlier i like having a note of the dressing also present in the salad itself since we have pear as a main ingredient in my salad i have pear as the main ingredient in my vinaigrette that way everything ties together very very well and there's nice nice synergy between the dressing and the salad it's very easy to make and i'm going to take you through how i made mine To my container, I added my olive oil followed by my balsamic vinegar. I then added my freshly grated ginger followed by my freshly made pear puree. I then added a dash of salt and a dash of pepper, covered my container, gave it a good shake and once everything was combined, my salad dressing was done. Very, very easy to make and as you have seen it takes just few ingredients to take your ordinary salad from hmm, sour to to wow 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 <laughs> so don't be shy to take and elevate the flavors of your salad at any given moment and if your salad demands it always always incorporate and use a vinaigrette one thing i forgot to mention last time when i was doing salad week for a vinaigrette the main ingredients are an oil and a vinegar commonly olive oil is the one that's used but you can use any other vegetable oil and i recommend sunflower oil or corn oil because olive oil is expensive in our country i know that's what i've used today but if you can if i'll make this another day highly likely i'm going to use sunflower oil so if you use sunflower oil it will still be okay another thing i need to emphasize is the ratio of oil to vinegar, to vinegar sorry is three to one that means for every three tablespoons of olive oil or any other oil you use you use one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar or any other vinegar you use for vinegar also use any other vinegar except white vinegar white vinegar is a bit harsh and it can throw off all the other flavors you can use red wine vinegar um, apple cider vinegar i personally really like balsamic vinegar all vinegars available in our local supermarkets 
just to emphasize don't forget as you adjust your ingredients upwards for a vinaigrette the ratio of oil to vinegar is three to one the ratio of oil to vinegar is three to one say it with me the ratio of oil to vinegar is three to one correct <laughs> now let's proceed to dress our salad give it one more toss and then we are done Oh wow wow here we are at the end of this video with one beautiful very sunny very colorful salad at the end you know what guys mimi nikonanja and i have to taste this even before we talk about anything else and when you taste your salad make sure you take a bit of everything so when you have your fork take a bit of the bacon take a grape take the french bean eh my fork is loaded and i'm ready to go pam 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 mm. Mm. Wow, wow, mm -mm -mm. this salad freaking came together in such perfection. I really appreciate the saltiness that the bacon adds to everything. I like the contrast between the sweet grape, the sweet pear, and the salty, very oily and meaty, fatty bacon. The crispiness of the French beans, the nice nice crunch that the seeds of the chichomato introduced as well this is just nothing but perfection and you know what i want to eat all of this but i'm going to leave some for my sister who's coming home in the evening so that, so that she also enjoys the nice excellence that is in this salad for you to try out this recipe and enjoy it with all the food you love everyone in your family and don't forget to share this recipe with everyone everyone in your life Kamakawaida, the exact recipe quantities will be on my blog, link on my description box. Try this out, take a pic, tag me on any social media platform. I love showing you guys off and I love seeing my creativity coming to life in your kitchens. I hope you enjoyed this video. For me, it's now time to go and chow down. So, koherini! Cause he was a nice